And so we, you know, when we're skiing bumps, we want to see our knees come up and extend down, up and extend down. And so we're going to practice a little drill here on the flats, just trying to get some range of motion going, okay? And I like to think, I call it planting with planting my poles with my knees. It's also good to help us with <clears throat> where do I plant my poles and how do I plant my poles? So if we watch a lot of World Cup skiing, we aren't seeing a big basket swing anymore. I mean, their, their hands stay in a box. And we are making contact with the snow merely by dropping our knees, bending our knees, right? Not my chest, my knees. We get nice and low. So we're gonna do that, get low, and then we're gonna pull our feet back and drive our hips forward. This is the motion that so many people miss. It's this. It's getting our hips forward, sliding back. Our goal is to keep our skis on the snow as we're skiing bumps. So let's just try that. Just try pulling your feet back. Okay, and it's not, it's, it's just, you know, our chest is gonna stay here. We're just moving our feet behind us and our hips come through. Right. So we don't want to see a big jump or a hop. All right. So this is what this drill is going to look like. Bend, extend, bend, extend. One of the missing pieces that most mogul skiers have is they get stuck in this body position. And today what we're gonna work on is allowing our hips to come forward. So as I drop on the backside of, my mo of the mogul, my hips come forward as my tips drop down, keeping good ski snow contact. We've got a little drill to practice. It makes us have our body come across the hill where, as you know, we want to keep our chest as we're skiing down the fall line. But this is a drill to help us feel what absorption feels like. We pull our feet up and extend back. The motion that most people miss is this one, where we're pulling our feet back and our hips are driving forward as we come on the back side of the bump. It's this motion, pulling my feet back. I'm not jumping or hopping, just allowing my hips to come through. You can see my knees move up and down. They are my shock absorber, keeping me smooth and quiet. Notice my tips driving down on the backside of the mogul.
JC has just a great stacked body position. Super quiet upper body, great hands. You can see his knees rolling in the direction he wants to go. Even though there aren't huge moguls here, it's even tougher controlling your speed. And he has excellent edge control. Chip also has really nice body position. I would like to see you just relax and not try and step with your foot. It gives you a little bit of an A-frame, harder to see at this angle. Be patient and keep rolling your knees. Great body position and excellent skiing. Chris also, great hands keeping your knuckles down the fall line. I'd like to see you pull your shoulders back ever so slightly. And again, just being patient and letting our feet work more in unison. There's going to be a natural lead change and we don't have to rush it by throwing our heels. Overall, excellent skiing. Tom has a nice tall body position. I'd like to see you pull your feet back quicker. This will keep the weight on the ball of your foot and pressuring the tip of the ski. Watch your right hand. Sometimes it's a little slow and that messes with your timing. Overall, excellent skiing. Holgar is another well-balanced skier. I'd like to see you pull your shoulders back slightly and a little bit more shin pressure will also allow you to have a smoother, less jerky turn. Great hands, nice rolling your knees back and forth. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and share your comments. Until next time.